today I am with Maddie. <laughs> today <laughs> we are going to be decorating cakes. Ooh. We're going to have a competition to see who can decorate the best cake, which isn't fair because you do food class. I suck at everything with cakes. So what the stop talking and yeah, you're gonna win. So we're gonna bake the cakes, we're gonna decorate them, and she's gonna win. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven, pre preheat heat your oven to 350 degrees. The second thing you want to do is you want to open your box of cake mix because you need to do that. And since if you're recording a video, you um I need to stop talking so fast. You need to do it with one hand because you're really cool and you think you can do it. But then you, you can't, and um, so that's great. Yes, brilliant. So the next thing you want to do is cut your bag open. But if you're like me and recording a video, again, you're going to need some parental guidance and some help. So get someone else to do it for you because you don't know how to do it. And thank you. Once your bag is open, you want to pour it into the bowl which you have, if you're a uh, step ahead of me, you pour it in there with one hand again, because you're recording a video, and you just dump it right in there, yep, like my dreams, bye, down the drain, okay, perfect. Next thing you want to do is throw the bag away, because why not, you know, don't recycle it because who needs recycling when the world's already so polluted? <laughs> and the next thing that you want to do is to fill up a cup of water <laughs> so that you can add it to your mix. So you take this cup of water and make sure not to spill it. You walk it over to your bowl and you want to dump it into your mixture to make it nice and liquidy base and then you make sure you do it with one hand because you can't do it with two hands if you're me okay next you want to take oh that was one cup by the way i'm so bad at this you want to take your half cup measure and you want to pour some vegetable oil in there but you also have to have parental help with that because you have one hand and the other person has two, so yes, do that. Now your base is becoming even more liquidy. You're going to add your eggs, and if you're like me and you're a pro, you are going to do this one-handed, but make sure that you get a non-greasy egg because they're a bit slippery, so you want to get a clean egg. You're going to use three eggs, and this is greasy, yep. Okay, thank you. So you crack the egg, if, and you do it one-handed, because you're pro. So you crack, 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 and you split and break with one hand, because I'm, again, pro. And pick out all the shells that fell in, because <laughs> if you're like me, there are definitely shells in there. And if you don't want a crunchy cake, I would recommend taking them out. Okay, great. Now, next three eggs. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that you have cracked all of your eggs, you want to go and wash your hands because you probably have a bunch of disgusting egg yolks on. You don't want to get salmonella, so you want to wash your hands, wash, 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 and get all the yolk off. And you only have to wash one hand because you're recording, so your right hand is very clean. If you use your right hand, if you are not ambidextrous like me. Once you have washed your hands, you want to start beating this mixture together because you're mad at it, you're very mad. And so instead of using a um, automatic whisk, I decided to go with the arm strengthening way of using a regular old hand whisk. And this is not a very good idea, so I would recommend using an automatic whisk like Maddie because she's smarter than me. If you want an arm workout, go for the hand whisk. It just takes triple the time.
once you have finished whisking, you now can take this time to look for any spare eggshells, well not really spare, any unwanted eggshells in your mis mixture, like me, because you know if you're going to do it one handed, you're going to get some eggshells in there and those do not taste good so just chuck them in your sink or don't because that's probably not the best place for them and then you can take your pans out and pour your mixture into them i went for a circular pan since the cake that i want to decorate needs to be circular and maddie went for a bread pan cake because that's the shape she needed for hers and it didn't work very well, but you will see that, so, yes. And if you're using kind of a shallow pan like I am, make sure you don't fill it up to the top because then it will over bake and it will probably not cook evenly and it might overflow I guess I don't know so dump out any excess because I had to and mine came out to be pretty big still which you will again see the next thing you want to do is pop your cakes in the oven once your oven has preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you are going to leave them in there for about 20 minutes or that's what we did and check on them after a little while you're waiting you can have a dance break like us because it's going to be a long 20 minutes or if you're like us you can just sit in front of the oven and stare at it for the time and just watch it and that's actually what we did so <laughs> have fun once the time is up you want to check on your cakes and obviously maddie's cake is not done yet but mine looks pretty done even though it actually is not but how you can tell is by sticking a toothpick in the top of it and if it comes out clean then you know it is done but if there is still batter on it it is not done and we put them back in for about five minutes and then checked back on them after to see how the progress was and they were done so now you can get to decorating. If there are any parts in your cake which have a crack in it, like mine, you can always cover it up with frosting and we took the lazy way out and used the um, packaged frosting, but you can make your own if you would like. There are tons of recipes online. And I am going for a white base and you have no clue what I'm doing yet, but it's really good, I gotta tell you. So keep watching to see what happens. Sausage, I'm sausage, I'm sausage on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm sausage on you. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', sausage on you. Now that I've finished frosting the cake or setting the base, I am now going to use a red icing to create a geometrical shape which you will see in 0.2 seconds Okay, if you can't tell by now, the figure that I'm making is a heart, but you'll never guess what is going inside the heart. No, 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 because that's coming next. Hmm, I wonder what I'm making. Whatever could it be? The camera angle makes it hard, but um, could it be a letter maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's not like I've been talking about this for the past two weeks because I've been obsessed with 
whatever is going inside the heart for a while. Oh, wow, it looks like it is a letter. Oh, it's another letter. What is it? Could it be a D, maybe? And and I wonder what's this going to be? Oh, maybe maybe another letter? Maybe a, a C, a poorly d- ADC? I wonder what that stands for. Oh, I bet you'll find out. If you haven't already guessed what it means, which you probably haven't, it stands for Alicia Debnam Carey, which I've been ranting on about for the past two weeks, and everyone knows how annoying it is, and um, yeah, so that's what I did because I wanted to show my love for her. Next up is Maddie's turn, and I wonder what she could be doing. Her, the inside of her cake actually isn't cooked, it's uh, just still the mixture batter, and so now she is applying blue and she's going to be putting this as the base. Now that she's using yellow, have you started to think of what it might be? I mean, if you haven't, uh, it's it's getting kind of obvious now, so start thinking. Now that she is done frosting, and it looks very even and nice, a lot nicer than mine, she is going to cut the cupcake in half and use it as I don't know, maybe an I? Hmm? What could it possibly be now? I wonder. Okay, enough commentating. Figure it out for yourselves, because if you haven't by now with the I, I, where have you been for the past two years? Okay, thanks, bye. Okie dokie everyone, cut! This, okay, so these are the final products. This, this one is my cake. The meaning of it is ADC, stands for Alicia Debnam Carey. If you didn't know, it's my true love obsession. Um, so the cake goes out to you, babe. Love you. Um, please see this video. Everyone tag her in it and share it on all of your social media platforms so that she can see it. Because I want her to know how much I love her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But so that's that was my cake. Just I wanted to confess my love. And then this is Maddie's cake. It's a minion. She did a much better job than I did. But vote for me because I'm better. Ow. I'm just kidding. Hers is really good. So you should vote for her. And that is the end of the oh world, the video. I hope you did enjoy. Oh, and if you did, oh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe Ow. for more. Ow. Oh my god, okay. everything's falling. Leave a comment saying who you think did better. And subscribe because I love you. Goodbye. Bye.